Okay, so it's quite easy, but of course you need to take some time to set everything up, the embal model, the prosper model, or also the gap model. Okay, so I think we can call it a day. Maybe in the next section, we can discuss about other cases. Okay, but hopefully you already understand the sequence, the big picture of the integrated simulation. Okay, integrated petroleum simulation from reservoir simulation, well simulation, and network simulation, or production systems simulation, or surface facility simulation. Okay. Okay, but lastly, lastly, maybe, what if we solve network? Is there any difference? Yeah, we can have several pressure scenarios, but here we use only one. Next, no optimization, calculate. Okay, very fast. Now, yeah, actually, you have that now. So actually, you can do prediction and you can also do solve network. Okay, what I've just done is actually solve the network. Okay, and now after solving the network, you can see the results in each pipeline. All right, you have that, you know the flow rate, across the flow line one it is 100 or 1823 stock tank barrel per day of oil the water flow rate the liquid flow rate the gas flow rate the pressure at this flow line which is very important and line two and line three line four and pipe two separator Okay, so at this condition, you can you can get gas flow rate of three hundred million standard cubic feet per day. Okay, and you can check the warning: maximum gas rate separator constraint violated. Three hundred six instead of two hundred fifty million standard cubic feet per day. Okay, so maybe you need to modify something so that you can reach the setting the maximum flow rate that you desire which is 250 million standard cubic feet per day okay so basically the current system the current mode with separator pressure of 1000 cannot reach or cannot keep the flow rate at 250 but it can deliver more than that it can deliver 306 million standard cubic feet per day okay so i hope that's clear so we can call it a day or maybe lastly lastly if we plot gas rate yeah this is results plot for separator or you click ok Results, detailed, all items. Okay, this is for separator pressure of 1000 actually. Okay, so basically with sulfur, you can do like this one. You can do 500, 800, 1000. 1,200 and next calculate main okay bottleneck yeah you can see we have bottleneck in this flow line maybe because it's too small only four inches but we can plot the results detailed all items you can see like this one so for 
for example, for separator pressure of 500, we can get gas rate this much, 800 this much, 1000 this much, and 1200 this much. You can plot, you can see. So for gas flow rate and oil flow rate, if we increase the system pressure, of course, we will get lower flow rate, gas rate or oil rate, okay? But as I said before, if you want to optimize the production, usually you can do that by lowering the separator pressure or lowering the system pressure. But of course, if you lower the separator pressure, later on maybe you will also have another problem like this, the compressor power that is required to increase the pressure okay, from the output of the separator to the sales system. Okay, but that's discussion for another day. But by doing the solve network, we actually do the sensitivity analysis. So solve network is actually sensitivity analysis, but the prediction is actually forecasting. Okay, so you can do either prediction or solve network or sensitivity analysis. Okay, so I hope that's clear. We already cover EMBAL model, PROSPER model, and GAP model. All right, so yeah, that's all. See you again in the next lecture. All right.